everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm Izzy. Today we're going to build these really cool bar clamps slash parallel clamps slash I don't know what to call them clamps. These do a couple of really cool things like get rid of the need for biscuits or dominoes, make sure that your glue up is nice and parallel, and give you really easy access to get material in and out while you're doing your glue up. Check it out. So the first thing we need to do is create a T-track that these ride on. Pretty simple. Up, we need to build these. These slide down the T-track. These are actually pretty simple. We start by making a six and a half by six and a half inch block. So the next thing we need to do is make this component. It's pretty simple, we glue up some plywood and drill a bunch of holes. All right, so we have our T-Tack done, we have our blocks done, and we have our top bars done. Now we need to create a way to tighten these whole clamps down. And to do that, we're just using a 3 8 bolt, a piece of dowel, and a nut. So that's it. We have a track, blocks, top rail. I need to cut some dowels for the back side of here. And then I want to treat these with some paste wax. Now you could use packing tape as well. Any, any parts that are going to be exposed to the glue up, you'll want to treat. Otherwise you'll have wood gluing to uh, wood. So voila, see how they work. So unfortunately I've got a little um, gap. I, I got ahead of myself and I squared up one side. I didn't square up the other on, on these. So I've got a few that have little gaps, but they're tight at the bottom and they're gapping at the top. So I guess that means that the job, the clamp is doing its job. 
if I would have done that with a regular clamp and tried to really compress that, it would have started warping the top. In this case, it's kept everything perfectly flat across there, so that is a good thing. So I'm pretty tickled about this. This definitely did its job. It's kept everything nice and flat. There was no need for biscuits, no need for dominoes, no need for any of that stuff. Now, I could glue up as much, as, you know, as thick a material or as thin as a material as I wanted here. The really nice advantage about this is that if I wanted to glue up a quarter inch material, I could do that in here. There's no center thread to mess with it on this parallel clamp, so I could go all the way down to as thin as I wanted to, and it would work great. So that I'm really happy about. I wish I would have done a better job of making sure that those edges were um, square, but all things being equal, there's quite a bit of glue squeeze out on the bottom, which is what, what I would expect in this, kind of, in this uh, scenario because there is the, the, the joints, because the joints are tighter at the bottom than they are at the top, which makes a lot of sense. It did push some glue out in a lot of areas on the top over here. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with its performance. As far as clamping pressure goes, it's uh, pretty significant, and I'm sure the hold down is significant. I'm going to have to make, um, I'll have to run some tests to see exactly what those pressures are. But I'm guessing they're way more, they're more than enough for glue ups. Now, I really liked making these wood versions, but I am so going to make a metal version. The metal version will actually be easier to build than the wood version. So that's going to happen at some point. Uh, don't hold me to when, it could be two years from now, but I'm definitely gonna de make a wood, uh, wood version of this because I this is my new clamping system. This is how I'm gonna do things. I really like this. with some 120 and this thing is just gorgeous a couple more light sandings with some 220 and I'm ready for finish on this top really really happy when satisfied with the performance on these clamps it just makes the job a lot easier um, I will be taking these I will definitely be playing with this and some more concepts like this in the near future um, I'm just thrilled with them this is definitely going to be my new clamping system for the shop Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. If you know somebody who can use a system like this or some ideas for a system like this, please share the video with them. And of course, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I'd invite you to do that. And remember, when you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification next to it. That way you actually get notified when I post videos. I'd be interested to get some feedback from you guys. I mean, what do you guys think about this? What are your thoughts on this? Really be interested to see what you guys, what your thoughts and feelings are about this clamping system. If you think it's worth it, is it too much hassle? Do you like the idea? Um, give me some feedback, let me know. I certainly appreciate the input. Um, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all very soon.